torque, moment, or moment of force is the tendency of a force to rotate an object about an axis, fulcrum, or pivot. Just as a force is a push or a pull, a torque can be thought of as a twist to an object, mathematically. Torque is defined as the cross product of the position vector of the point where the force is applied distance vector and the force vector, which tends to produce rotation. Loosely speaking, torque is a measure of the turning force on an object such as a bolt or a flywheel. For example, pushing or pulling the handle of a wrench connected to a nut or bolt produces a torque that loosens or tightens the nut or bolt. The symbol for torque is typically the lowercase Greek letter tau. When it is called moment of force, it is commonly denoted m. The magnitude of torque depends on three quantities. The force applied, the length of the lever arm connecting the axis to the point of force application, and the angle between the force vector and the lever arm. In symbols, where is the torque vector and is the magnitude of the torque, R is the position vector F is the force vector, times denotes the cross product. Theta is the angle between the force vector and the lever arm vector. The SI unit for torque is the newton meter. For more on the units of torque, see units. Terminology. This article follows U.S. physics terminology in its use of the word torque. In the U.K. and in the U.S. mechanical engineering, this is called moment of force, usually shortened to moment. In the U.S. physics and U.K. physics terminology these terms are interchangeable, unlike in U.S. mechanical engineering, where the term torque is used for the closely related resultant moment of a couple. Torque is defined mathematically as the rate of change of angular momentum of an object. The definition of torque states that one or both of the angular velocity or the moment of inertia of an object are changing. Moment is the general term used for the tendency of one or more applied forces to rotate an object about an axis, but not necessarily to change the angular momentum of the object. For example, a rotational force applied to a shaft causing acceleration, such as a drill bit accelerating from rest, results in a moment, called a torque. By contrast, a lateral force on a beam produces a moment, but since the angular momentum of the beam is not changing, this bending moment is not called a torque. Similarly with any force couple on an object that has no change to its angular momentum, such moment is also not called a torque. This article follows the U.S. physics terminology by calling all moments by the term torque, whether or not they cause the angular momentum of an object to change. History the concept of torque, also called moment or couple, originated with the studies of Archimedes on levers. The term torque was apparently introduced into English scientific literature by James Thomson, the brother of Lord Kelvin, in 1884. Definition in relation to angular momentum A force applied at a right angle to a lever multiplied by its distance from the lever's fulcrum is its torque. A force of 3 newtons applied 2 meters from the fulcrum, for example, exerts the same torque as a force of 1 newton applied 6 meters from the fulcrum. The direction of the torque can be determined by using the right hand grip rule. If the fingers of the right hand are curled from the direction of the lever arm to the direction of the force, then the thumb points in the direction of the torque. More generally, the torque on a particle can be defined as the cross product, where R is the particle's position vector relative to the fulcrum, and F is the force acting on the particle. The magnitude tau of the torque is given by where R is the distance from the axis of rotation to the particle, F is the magnitude of the force applied, and theta is the angle between the position and force vectors. Alternatively, where F is the amount of force directed perpendicularly to the position of the particle, any force directed parallel to the particle's position vector does not produce a torque. It follows from the properties of the cross product that the torque vector is perpendicular to both the position and force vectors. The torque vector points along the axis of the rotation that the force vector would initiate. The resulting torque vector direction is determined by the right-hand rule. 
The unbalanced torque on a body along axis of rotation determines the rate of change of the body's angular momentum, where L is the angular momentum vector and T is time. If multiple torques are acting on the body, it is instead the net torque which determines the rate of change of the angular momentum. For rotation about a fixed axis, where I is the moment of inertia in omega is the angular velocity, it follows that where alpha is the angular acceleration of the body, measured in radian per square second. This equation has the limitation that the torque equation describes the instantaneous axis of rotation or center of mass for any type of motion, whether pure translation pure rotation, or mixed motion, I equals moment of inertia about the point which the torque is written. If body is in translatory equilibrium then the torque equation is the same about all points in the plane of motion. A torque is not necessarily limited to rotation around a fixed axis, however, it may change the magnitude and or direction of the angular momentum vector depending on the angle between the velocity vector and the non-radial component of the force vector, as viewed in the pivot's frame of reference. A net torque on a spinning body therefore may result in a precession without necessarily causing a change in spin rate. Proof of the equivalence of definitions The definition of angular momentum for a single particle is where times indicates the vector cross product p is the particle's linear momentum and r is the displacement vector from the origin the time derivative of this is this result can easily be proven by splitting the vectors into components and applying the product rule now using the definition of force and the definition of velocity the cross product of momentum with its associated velocity is zero because velocity and momentum are parallel, so the second term vanishes. By definition, torque tau equals r times f. Therefore, torque on a particle is equal to the first derivative of its angular momentum with respect to time. If multiple forces are applied, Newton's second law instead reads f net equals ma, and it follows that this is a general proof. Units Torque has dimension force times distance, symbolically L2 mt minus 2. Official SI literature suggests using the unit newton meter or the unit joule per radian. The unit newton meter is properly denoted nm or nm. This avoids ambiguity with mn millinewtons. The SI unit for energy or work is the joule. It is dimensionally equivalent to a force of 1 newton acting over a distance of 1 meter, but it is not used for torque. Energy and torque are entirely different concepts, so the practice of using different unit names helps avoid mistakes and misunderstandings. The dimensional equivalence of these units, of course, is not simply a coincidence. A torque of 1 nm applied through a full revolution will require an energy of exactly 2 pi joules. Mathematically, where E is the energy, tau is magnitude of the torque, and theta is the angle moved. This equation motivates the alternate unit named joules per radian. In imperial units, pound force feet, foot pounds force, inch pounds force, ounce force inches are used. And other non-SI units of torque includes meter kilograms force. For all these units, the word force is often left out. For example, abbreviating pound force foot to simply pound foot. This is an example of the confusion caused by the use of English units that may be avoided with SI units because of the careful distinction in SI between force and mass. Torque is sometimes listed with units that do not make dimensional sense, such as the gram-centimeter. In this case, gram should be understood as the force given by the weight of 1 gram at the surface of the Earth, i.e., 6997980665000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
The construction of the moment arm is shown in the figure to the right, along with the vectors R and F mentioned above. The problem with this definition is that it does not give the direction of the torque but only the magnitude, and hence it is difficult to use in three-dimensional cases. If the force is perpendicular to the displacement vector R, the moment arm will be equal to the distance to the center, and torque will be a maximum for the given force. The equation for the magnitude of a torque arising from a perpendicular force. For example, if a person places a force of 10 N at the terminal end of a wrench that is 0.5 meters long, the torque will be 5 Nm, assuming that the person moves the wrench by applying force in the plane of movement of and perpendicular to the wrench. Static equilibrium for an object to be in static equilibrium, not only must the sum of the forces be zero, but also the sum of the torques about any point. For a two-dimensional situation with horizontal and vertical forces, the sum of the forces requirement is two equations. Sigma H equals zero and sigma V equals zero, and the torque of third equation, sigma tau equals zero. That is, to solve statically determinate equilibrium problems in two dimensions, three equations are used. Net force versus torque when the net force on the system is zero, the torque measured from any point in space is the same. For example, the torque on a current carrying loop in a uniform magnetic field is the same regardless of your point of reference. If the net force is not zero, and is the torque measured from, then the torque measured from is, machine torque. Torque is part of the basic specification of an engine. The power output of an engine is expressed as its torque multiplied by its rotational speed of the axis. Internal combustion engines produce useful torque only over a limited range of rotational speeds. The varying torque output over that range can be measured with a dynamometer, and shown as a torque curve. Steam engines and electric motors tend to produce maximum torque close to zero RPM, with the torque diminishing as rotational speed rises. Reciprocating, steam engines can start heavy loads from zero RPM without a clutch. Relationship between torque, power, and energy if a force is allowed to act through a distance, it is doing mechanical work. Similarly, if torque is allowed to act through a rotational distance, it is doing work. Mathematically, the rotation about a fixed axis through the center of mass, where W is work, tau is torque, and theta 1 and theta 2 represent the initial and final angular positions of the body. It follows from the work energy theorem that W also represents the change in the rotational kinetic energy R of the body. Given by where I is the moment of inertia of the body and omega is its angular speed. Power is the work per unit time, given by where P is power, tau is torque, omega is the angular velocity, and represents the scalar product. Algebraically, the equation may be rearranged to compute torque for a given angular speed and power output. Note that the power injected by the torque depends only on the instantaneous angular speed, not on whether the angular speed increases, decreases or remains constant while the torque is being applied. In practice, this relationship can be observed in bicycles. Bicycles are typically composed of two road wheels, front and rear gears meshing with a circular chain, and a derailleur mechanism if the bicycle's transmission system allows multiple gear ratios to be used, all of which attach to the frame. A cyclist, the person who rides the bicycle, provides the input power by turning pedals, thereby cranking the front sprocket. The input power provided by the cyclist is equal to the product of cadence and the torque on spindle of the bicycle's crankset. The bicycle's drivetrain transmits the input power to the road wheel, which in turn conveys the received power to the road as the output power of the bicycle. Depending on the gear ratio of the bicycle, our input pair is converted to a output pair. By using a larger rear gear, or by switching to a lower gear in multi-speed bicycles, angular speed of the road wheels is decreased while the torque is increased, products of which does not change. Consistent units must be used.
For metric SI units power is watts, torque is newton meters and angular speed is radians per second. Also, the unit newton meter is dimensionally equivalent to the joule, which is the unit of energy. However, in the case of torque, the unit is assigned to a vector, whereas for energy, it is assigned to a scalar. Conversion to other units A conversion factor may be necessary when using different units of power, torque, or for example, if rotational speed is used in place of angular speed, we multiply by a factor of 2 pi radians per revolution. In the following formulas, P is power, tau is torque and omega is rotational speed. Showing units, dividing by 60 seconds per minute gives us the following, where rotational speed is in revolutions per minute. Some people use horsepower for power, foot-pounds for torque and RPM for rotational speed. This results in the formula changing to, the constant below changes with the definition of the horsepower, for example, using metric horsepower, it becomes approximately 32,550. Use of other units would require a different custom conversion factor. Derivation for a rotating object, the linear distance covered at the circumference of rotation is the product of the radius with the angle covered, that is, linear distance equals radius times angular distance, and by definition, linear distance equals linear speed times time equals radius times angular speed times time. By the definition of torque, torque equals radius times force. We can rearrange this to determine force equals torque divided by radius. These two values can be substituted into the definition of power. The radius r and time t have dropped out of the equation. However, angular speed must be in radians. By the assumed direct relationship between linear speed and angular speed at the beginning of the derivation, if the rotational speed is measured in revolutions per unit of time, the linear speed and distance are increased proportionately by 2 pi in the above derivation to give, if torque is in newton meters and rotational speed in revolutions per second, the above equation gives power in newton meters per second or watts. If imperial units are used, and if torque is in pounds, force feet and rotational speed in revolutions per minute, the above equation gives power in foot-pounds force per minute. The horsepower form of the equation is then derived by applying the conversion factor 33,000 feet lbf per minute per horsepower, because principle of moments, the principle of moments, also known as Varignon's theorem states that the sum of torques due to several forces applied to a single point is equal to the torque due to the sum of the forces. Mathematically, this follows from torque multiplier. A torque multiplier is a gearbox with reduction ratios greater than 1. The given torque at the input gets multiplied as per the reduction ratio and transmitted to the output, thereby achieving greater torque, but with reduced rotational speed. 